So you may have seen this sort of style going around at the moment where um, there's these like flowy lines or whatever. I don't know how to explain it, but it's quite trendy at the moment. But yeah, I'm just going to go over how to get that same effect. So first thing you need is an image. Uh, I'm just going to get one off Pexels, my, probably my favourite stock website. And um, get these pictures. I think this is weed. I think just getting a picture with lots of lights and darks you know all over the place that's really the only thing you need for this um, but yeah just paste the image into a document say this is an advertisement you're working on and you want some liquefy textures going around whatever product you have or say it's a YouTube banner you just want to place the image in and then go to filter blur motion blur and set the distance to maximum just so you can see um, how it looks like as one straight line I'm sure there is different ways to do it but this is how I personally do it so yeah put the motion blur to maximum uh, so you can see what it looks like if the liquefier texture was just going straight across and then you want to go to this um, rectangle selection and hold it and go to single column marquee tool this one here and if you click it will select a single pixel uh, like a single column It'll only be one pixel wide if you zoom in. Oh, this is well laggy. If you zoom in, this is only one pixel, as you can see. So yeah, if you just click, that will select a whole column. And you just want to select somewhere which looks like it has a good range of colours. Like over this side, you can see there's lots of little sort of lines going across, if that's a good way to explain it. And then over here, there's a lot of longer, you know, thicker lines where the original image was lighter over this side and darker over this side. So I'm going to choose this one here just because it looks like there's lots of colours I guess. And then you want to press Ctrl T once you've selected this. Drag one end to one end of the canvas like this and drag the other end to this. And as you can see now it's just made up of one texture going all the way across. So now you have this really clean texture, you want to duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J or right click and duplicate layer. This is just so you have a backup of the original layer if you don't like what you do next. And then go to filter and liquify. And this is where you get the main shape. It may look a bit weird if you um, follow along and the picture is bigger than the canvas, but it's all right. Just mainly focus on this middle rectangle where the actual texture is. And here you just want to play around with the shape so you want to keep to your default brush the top one here this finger forward warp tool and you want to make the size you know just play around with the settings really I'm gonna make it about this big and just drag it up like that now I'm not sure if I like this actually but yeah you get what I mean just just play around with the shape and don't be afraid to just resize it if um, you know there's parts that you want to get cropped out because they don't match this, the shape that you want. So now we've got this little rough shape um, of the texture. You can start messing about with the colour. So if you go to hue and saturation and just play around with these, you can find different uh, colour combinations. Like Now this texture that we have at the moment doesn't really have a colour palette. As you can see, it has little bits of orange, little bits of sapphire green, lime green. It's not really designated to a colour palette. So to change this, um, you add the hue and saturation and then go to tick this colorize box here and now as you can see it's like adding a gradient map to it it's just setting it to one color and putting the saturation up you could do this to have one one color or if you want multiple colors you can go to let's just add another hue saturation click this drop down here where it says master and change it to greens and now if you adjust the hue, it's only going to adjust the greens. As you can see, this little selection area down here. If you want to select a bit more of the cyans, you can drag this over uh, to here. And then a bit more of the yellows. But now as you can see, you can get some cool uh, dual color themes going on or stuff like that. This looks kind of weird, but that, that could work with just the... Uh, if you just select this bit here. The purple and green, that could work, something like that. But you get the idea, just play around with uh, colours, you can also put some curves on to adjust the contrast, something like something like that. But yeah, as I said, um, I don't actually know if I said this, but this is just how to get this nice smooth texture. All the colours and that just comes with playing around with it for a while and getting used to how the colours work and everything and which looks good and which doesn't. But yeah, this is after and... This is before, so you can really do this with any image. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this did help. I've got a Discord server now, so 
You can join that if you want. Uh, that would be sick. Yeah. Peace.